Oh. Yeah, nice, nice visual of the arm there. Oh dear, right, so I thought I'd record a little video. Everyone, all of my friends, everyone's always like, oh my God, your life is so random, you should totally like document it and stuff because people literally don't believe me. When I tell them stories about what happens or what I get up to and stuff, no one believes it because it all sounds so far-fetched or ridiculous. But I just thought I'd start doing a day in the life of me um, so that everyone can, I usually do this last, but sort of, um, so that everyone can understand what my life is about because it's a little bit cray at times. The reason I thought I'd do a little video now as well is because I'm just getting ready to go to an interview um, for, what's this one for? A receptionist for like a small company. Um, I won't go into too much detail what it is, but yeah, but basically I, I'd be a receptionist if I got the job. And talk about kill my vibe. So here I am, had a nice shower and that, getting ready. And then I got this email, where is it? And I was like, are you actually joking me? So I've, I've been applying for loads and loads of jobs. Nothing that I really wanna like, I don't see myself in a massive career doing these things, but you know, girls gotta work, you know, gotta try and get some money coming in um, whilst I'm juggling other things. The thing is with me, I have got other work going on, but I would like, I don't feel, I'm sorry for it, I don't feel, I don't know, I don't have my vibe going on in my flow unless I've got a few things going on. Like, I'm not comfortable unless I'm doing about three jobs. The busier the better, I get really bored otherwise. Um, so this is the, I've just had this email, right? So this totally killed it off for me. Dear Verity, thank you for applying for the position of dog grooming assistant, random, a slash stylist, dog stylist, I love that, um, with the groom room at Pets at Home. Uh, we're really sorry, but on this occasion, your application has not been successful. At Pets at Home, we're very proud of our business and we are truly grateful that you've taken the time and energy to apply for a position with us. We would like to wish you every success and happiness with whatever you do in the future. I mean, what? Seriously? I brush my dog daily. She's quite happy. Blue? Blue? She was quite happy. I don't know where she is. But, um... I don't understand, what have you got to do to get a job? Like, some of these jobs that I'm applying for, I'm just like, because I'm quite a random person anyway, most people are like, why should you apply to be a dog grooming thing? But I thought it'd be quite fun, especially having my own dog, I thought it could be really cool, and I'd enjoy it, and yeah. But I can't even get a job doing that. Like, what is wrong with the world? So there's that one. I also got, I've applied for quite a lot of receptionist jobs, because I thought, oh, this is really naughty, but whilst doing the job, because you're sat in front of a computer all day, I can be looking for auditions for things and I can be looking at other opportunities. Ooh, my bad. Um, another one. Dear Verity, thank you for the interest you have expressed in the receptionist job at blah, blah, blah. Um, your CV has been carefully reviewed and at this time we are pursuing candidates with skills and experience which are more closely matched to the position. What? How hard is it to sit in front of a computer Hi, good afternoon there, yes. Oh, you're here to see Sansa. So, yep, yeah, if you just want to take a seat, would you like a tea or coffee or anything? Just check you in. Is it that hard? I'm like, I've got the worst OCD when it comes to filing and things. They are missing a trick here. Like, if they actually bothered to meet me for an interview even, they'd understand how hard working I am. What is wrong with these people? Oh, here she is. See, I'm not a bad mum, am I? I should have got the dog grooming dog, uh, job. Hey, you think? God, if you can see this face. No, she's not going to come up, she's playing. Um, yeah, so it's like, what the hell? I just don't, I don't know what the... <laughs> uh, what do you do? I don't really get it. I'm just so friggin' fed up. Like, I was speaking to my friend last night. Um, it was quite funny, actually. I'd driven all the way back from seeing my mum and my granddad. I'm going to sit and do my makeup, actually, because I should be getting ready for this interview. Um, yeah, so I'd driven back from seeing my mum and my granddad yesterday and then I rang my friends on the way home and whenever we get on the phone to each other, we talk forever, and, um, which isn't a bad thing, it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, so I ended up sitting in the car because it started raining outside the front of my house. Husband was inside completely oblivious that I was there and just sat on the phone for like two hours chatting about stuff and we had such a laugh, like the things we were talking about because basically our friendship all formed from doing a pilot um, for a TV show together, which, can you hear her? 
baby? Which I will go into more detail um, on another video because that's just like a whole other story. But like we, whilst we were talking, we were discussing all this and like half of these people that interview you or companies and that, they don't even look at the CVs or anything, I'm sure of it. Because this woman who's interviewing me today, she on the phone she was like, oh yeah, I'd love for you to come in for an interview. So she must have looked at my CV. Um, she was like, I've had such a high volume of applications that um, I've had to be really um, selective of who I pick. So I'm like, oh, that's really nice. That's why I'm like quite, kind of excited for this one today. But, um, but yeah, and I just thought, God, I wonder, there's me getting all upset and thinking it's a personal thing that these people don't like me enough to work for them and stuff. But I just think a lot of them just must have loads of people apply and just can't be asked to go through everything. I'm hoping anyway, hoping it's not that I can't even brush a dog. That's tragic. I trained it all by myself and everything and I'm so proud of that. But whatever. And I've got another little share to show. Share to share. I've got another little thing to show everybody today. I will get my words out, tongue tied. So I've been a bit naughty behind my husband's back. It's not that bad though. Some girls buy like, I don't know, Mac and shit. I don't. <laughs> I just flag it with whatever's cheapest. So I went on eBay. Shock, I love a bit of eBay. Um, and I managed to find, so I bought this. I know you're supposed to change your makeup, what is it, once every six months. But I just keep it going as long as I can until I get a rash, it's fine. <laughs> and this is a, what is it, Technic Colour Fix. Can you see, can you see? It's knackered, look at the state of it. Yeah, awful. Anyway, I'm basically down to the colours that don't match my skin. And um, I managed to find this, I didn't tell him what I was getting it. It's only 2 99 so I'd probably spend that on parking somewhere. Um, yeah, I managed to get it and I'm hoping it's the same one. Oh. Yep, no, 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 it is. I've done it. So I've got exactly the same one, two ninety nine. Banging. This is amazing. I'm all over trying, trying it out again, like the colours I used to use. Oh. If I can get into it, I need to get my nails done. They look so bad. It's pretty embarrassing. So I'm excited about this interview because basically, if I get it, it's only the job's only till January, so it's like a Christmassy kind of thing. But um, receptionist, I'm super organised, um, and it's just like a small family-run company, so it'd be really good. And it's not far from where we live, so I wouldn't be worried about leaving the dog all day because that's one been like my most kind of worrying thing is leaving her. But um, so yeah, so I'm praying that I get it. So that's why I'm going to try and make a bit of an effort, but I haven't had time to get my eyebrows done. Oh, look at the state of it. Do they look that bad? They look pretty bad, don't they? Oh, what is that in my eye? Gross. Anyway, um, this is falling apart. Well, it did fall apart yesterday. Get what you pay for, I suppose. <laughs> but sometimes, some of my stuff's really good. Like, I don't know. I like the cheap stuff. Should I just pull that off because it's going to keep falling off? Don't pretend like it's an expensive brush for it. Um, yeah, so I'm really hoping I get this interview, uh, interview job, and that this interview goes well. But I'm just kind of over. Like I made a, I made a little video. I don't know if I've put it up yet about just being completely over going to all these interviews or or getting offered interviews like group interviews for things and you know when you're just like oh what is that can you put like glue on your face maybe I should put that back on um yeah like all this group interview bollocks just for like a reception job like, that's why as soon as they said oh yeah no it's one to one I was like right I can deal with this um and then I've got another I've got a second interview actually tomorrow but I, the reason, so basically I rang this woman back yesterday who I'm going to see today and um, she was like, can you come in on Thursday afternoon? But I went for another job and I've got a second interview on Thursday morning with them and I've got a feeling they're going to offer me the job. So I'd rather go to this one first, see what she, her vibe is like with me, see if she likes me. Um, because I'd rather do this job till January because then I, I've got time still. Like, save a load of money before... New Year, go on our honeymoon, hallelujah, finally, um, and, are you laughing? 
um, yeah, go on our honeymoon finally and then look for something else like that I really want to do in the new year. But yeah, so that's why I've lined it up. So when I spoke to this woman yesterday, I was like, can I come in like today, tomorrow? Um, and she said, yeah, and she managed to squeeze me in. So I'm hoping, because it's a 4.15 interview. Oh, is that a bit white now? Um, yeah, so it's like an afternoon one, um, late afternoon. So I'm hoping that means that I'll leave a lasting impression on her and that she will remember me and just be like, oh my God, me you can start immediately. Oh, this is amazing. And you only live down the road. Perfect. You've got the job. That's what I would like in an ideal world. But we don't always get what we want and what we like, do we? In my case, I never, never seem to get what I want. Not when it comes to work, anyway. I get so close and then so close, but just so far um, with things, and it's really frustrating, really annoying. I don't know what to wear. Well, I've got an idea what to wear. I've got a few choices because. My husband was amazing and he let me choose a couple of bits from, where should I go, New Look I think it was. They're only cheap though but they're really good. Um, that will do. Yeah, cheap but, but nice, like office -y bits. So I think I'm just going to go with a pony today. Pony tail. Has anyone tried this stuff before? Oh my god, it is amazing. So literally my whole makeup set comes to less than, I don't know, Less than 50 quid. I mean, it looks like there's a lot there, but there's not. That's all stuff that I've had forever. And I know, again, people will be like, oh, that's gross. You're supposed to get money after six months. Who actually does, really? Because let's face it, all these celebrities probably don't own any makeup. I've got, like, actor friends, actress friends, who literally, when they come home, like, when they've stopped filming that, they actually go home. They're like, oh, my God, what's fashionable? What do I wear? Because they're so used to being in... TV or films and that, and um, they get dressed and makeup done for them every day. They don't really have their own wardrobe and they don't really have their own makeup or they don't know where to start with doing it. So next time you like laugh at a celebrity on their, like a real one, like a proper actor or something, on their, I don't know, day off when they go to Tesco's, they look like shit. It's probably because they don't know what they're doing with their makeup and stuff because they've never had to do it themselves. But yeah, right, anyway, that, Kaiko. Kiko, Kaiko, don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I call it my um, my face crack. It's like amazing. Whack it on, bit of powder on those bits, the cream bits you do, because then it dries it, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. It does something, it stops me from looking sweaty anyway. Um, see, I don't really do much. Today I'm not gonna wear false eyelashes because the area that I'm going to this interview it's a bit more natural countryside look. So I think just mascara because I might get judged before I even opening my mouth when I walk in. That usually happens. Usually people just take one look at me and they're like, dumb, blonde, boobs. That's, that's it, right, basically. And they just kind of like sit there with a bit of a smirk and they don't even want to... Like even the job I've got the second interview for, I was looking at the woman and like with my answers and stuff I was giving, I was thinking, are you laughing at me or what are you doing? And she's like writing everything down and smiling. Could have been because she thought I was good, that's why I got the second interview, but I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, but I just think the natural look, usually I put like a, a natural eyelash on, like these that I've worn about a hundred times. Look at the state of them, can you see them? Can you see that? No, but yeah, you get the drift. They're covered in glue from God knows how long because we can't all afford new eyelashes all the time, can we? Especially when we're not working full time. So there you go. And again, anyone that says they don't reuse them is a liar, 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 pants on fire. Don't believe them. But yeah, like what a day. What a frigging day. So, so far today, Blue, my dog, has yep, you has managed to eat a corner of my expensive rug that I bought in Dubai. Um, so now I need to either my old housemate when I spoke to him earlier was like, why don't you just get her to eat the other three corners and then it will just look like chic and like it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> I was like, that's such a good idea, but I've not. I don't know. She's not that talented. I've not trained her that well to know what I'm. I don't know. 
She'll probably think, right, she'll probably do what my husband does. Like, I'll be going, go on baby, eat the rest of the corners. And she'll be like, there's a catch here, what is this? Like waiting for me to like go, no. I don't know. But yeah, so so far she's eaten the corner of one corner of the rug, which I was fuming. Um, what else has happened today? I don't know really. I ate some cereal for breakfast. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Because I'm trying to lose weight. That's a whole other video in itself that I'm going to put up for you. I'm trying to lose weight, but you won't unless you want to. Like, and I watched that documentary, the Lisa Riley one, where she was losing weight last night. And oh my God, hats off to the girl. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like, she was so, like, you know when someone's got determination and drive and I was just sat there watching thinking, go you. And like, it must have been, it was, watching her even was like such a little roller coaster for her, bless her. But she looks insane now, like completely unreal. But, um, hmm. I just need to, like, I don't know, I don't know, sort my of shit out. I think I'm just at a bit of a lull, you know when you're like, I don't know, like a couple of years back, like before I moved away and stuff, um, everything was going so good and I was thinking to myself, yeah, no, I'm on a roll here, like I was going to auditions, I was getting things, I was getting so close to everything and then now, like fast forward a couple of years, and I can't even get a job as a dog groomer for pets at home. Like really? So annoying, so annoying. <sighs> it's hard, you, like you can get a bit depressed with it all. And like I watched, what was it? Who was it, Callum Best or someone? I can't remember what program it was, but he was like, Oh, you know, I can't, I can't do like normal jobs and stuff. I think it was him who said that. I can't get a normal job because everyone knows who I am. Like, no one knows who I. Well, a few people might know who I am, but like, I. If it's bad enough for him, it like I'm nowhere near like that. Like, no one knows me on that scale. But I can't even get a job. And like, I know going from filming and doing stuff I was doing a couple of years ago to now, where it's like, I, yeah, I just can't get a normal job. Like, what the hell? Like. You just go into yourself a bit and you lose all confidence. You really do. It gets you down. I don't think I need any more than that. How am I doing? Or do I just keep it that natural? My eyebrows, I don't think you can really see here, but my eyebrows don't look very good at all. Like, I can't bother to pluck them. <sighs> I can't be asked. Maybe I'll have a look at, did I already put deodorant on? I can't remember. I think I will give up though. If I go to this interview and I don't get it, and the one tomorrow and I don't get it, I think I'm just going to give up. I don't even know what that is. See, that's that's all I do for my makeup, really. If I'm going out, out, I'll do eyebrows and put a lash on, but that's it. You don't really need a lot, do you? And that's not even proper contouring. It's called a contour kit, but it's just one of them cheap ones, 17 from Boots. I think it was like a fiver at the most, something like that. Whereas some of them I've bought, I think that's what that little thing was actually, these little pencil smash box. They're like, you get three crayons and they're like 3,000 pound, no, <laughs> 30 quid or whatever. Whereas I find this one, you just pack a little bit on and you're done, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Right, let me see what I'm gonna wear actually. What are you doing, lady? What are you doing? Right. I might go for something different. See, the last interview I went to, I wore this. That looks horrendous there. Let me hold it back. This, so it's like a baggy shirt, like a fashionable one. But I've already worn that, so maybe I won't wear that. I'm feeling, actually, maybe I should just go all black. Where are we? Yeah, there we go. Maybe I could just go in all black, black top and black skirt. Because let's face it, I'm basically going to the funeral of my career. Like, is there any more interviews I can go to and get, ah! What are you doing? No. Yeah, is there any more, fu any more funerals I can go to? Is there any more um, interviews that I can go to and not get? <laughs> 
I mean, at least I'm, I'm going to them now. It's a bit better than not, I guess. Like, I'm just getting pied at the first hurdle when people are looking at my CV if they're even bothering. Oh, I don't know. I just can't be bothered. Like, the other thing is, the more you get knocked back and rejected, I've always been quite good with it all, but now I'm just kind of, you know, when you're losing the will to live a bit, when you're just like... I just haven't got the energy to apply for more of these jobs. I need to just crack on because I do photography, you see, and I should just be setting, I've set up my own little business, but I should be, there's a word for it that I am, I think it's called imposter syndrome. So it's like, stop. Oh, you little bugger. Um, be a good girl, please. Um, yeah, I think it's called imposter syndrome. So it's like, Basically, anyone else's businesses and other companies and that, I've got all the ideas in the world for... Oh, love you too, baby. Um, all the ideas in the world... My mummy's makeup. Um, all the ideas in the world for, and I'll push and help, and like I really want to see them do well. And then with me, it's like... I just get so worried that it's not going to work. I have all confidence and faith in everyone else, but then when it comes to me, I'm like, oh, I'm nervous and that. So, but I don't know why, because everyone's like, oh my God, your pictures are great, and meh. But it's just so, no ow, no, baby, what's wrong? Ugh. Stinky breath. Um, yeah, like, oh, I don't know, like, I'm just nervous with it. So, most people are like, oh, why don't you just do that? But it costs money as well, like, buying new lenses, like, buying accessories and bits, it costs a lot of money. So, I have to have some money coming in the first place in order to buy these bits that I need for certain shoots and that, so, I don't know. I'm probably waffling a bit now, so what I'll do is, I will get changed and I'll come back and say goodbye before I go so you can all wish me luck before my interview. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.